Hello everyone, this is Holmes from White Box Gaming. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to take your Android app uh, that you may or may not currently have and make it compatible with the Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, so I kind of did a trial by fire myself here to where I built an Android app specifically for the Fire Stick and voila, I did it wrong. Um, luckily though, Amazon uh, was really extremely helpful at telling me what I did wrong and showed me how to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, by showing you guys some things that you'll need to know uh, when you're setting up your Android app, some things that I completely missed, and I hope that you're smarter than me. So first things first, um, if you have your app already built, that's great, but there are some changes that you'll have to make uh, when you deploy. So the icons probably pretty normal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that <clears throat> because I don't want it to render outside the safe area. Um, so some things that you want to do here though that are actually important to this. So I want to support all Fire Stick. Um, as much as possible. So I'm going to just go through the configuration though real quickly. Um, some things that you need to know. So to support all Fire Stick TVs, you want to set it to a lollipop, which is the Android version 22. Um, this is in their documentation. I mean, I, I think that's the lowest one that they have is the lollipop. Can you go lower? I don't know if you can or not, but I'm just going by their documentation. So, whatevs. Uh, some other things when you're setting up your Android. Um, mine is a kid-friendly app, so I wanted to disable the HW statistics. Um, some other things here on your target architecture, you want the ARM v7 and ARM 64. I'm assuming that this refers to having 64-bit support. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I'm just guessing by the x86, that's what you're determining there. Um, some other things here. So I missed this when I set this up. So there's a little thing here that says Android TV compatibility. You check that, and then it's going to ask you, is this an Android game and or Android game support level? You want the D-pad or you want the gamepad or requires gamepad. Mine works the, with the remote control. So make sure that that is selected. Uh, I turned off logging just because I, I don't need logging. You could just leave it on, whatever. Like I'm not going to check any logging. Um... You know, make sure, you obviously, you always set up your password, blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty much the main settings that you want to check is, is right here on your compatibility settings. And then some other things that we want to do is, let me get out of this scene. back to my inspector because uh, there is some setup it's in the input if I remember correctly yeah so there's some setup in the in here uh, I kept this to this but you might want to change that to joysticks access because I don't know if this is going to work here yet or not uh, your access needs to be set to the X axis And then you need to set this to horizontal. This needs to say horizontal. Uh, there's a whole guide on actually setting up the remote control on how it's done. But as you can see, I set it to the horizontal. It says left, right, and then the A, D, three. And, you know, these are all settings within the Amazon Fire Stick. Um, what it says that you specifically have to have, so you have the joystick access. Has to be on the fifth access. 
don't know what that means, but whatever. This is, I mean, this is again, this is in the Fire Stick documentation. So that's the setup on your input, and then there actually is some coding setup as well, which is what I was getting into. So my object bug. So I'm going to go in here to my script. All right, so this is what we're referring to uh, in your update. This is what you're going to need uh, for capturing the key presses, or in this case, like the remote control presses. So you want the key code, the joystick button zero, uh, which I believe is like the center button on the remote. And then you have the left arrow, the right arrow, and I have key code escape. I think that's for computer. Uh, and then there's the menu. It's another uh, remote control button. Not sure what the escape's about because I designed this one specifically for the um, the remote control. But maybe there was in the documentation. It's been a little bit since I looked at it. Um, how they had done it, though, is I'd commented out this code as well. Like, were they done? Like, get access horizontal or input vertical. May or may not need this. I have no idea. Um, the code's there. Again, this is on Fire. The Amazon Fire Stick has everything documented, though, as well. It's actually pretty well documented, pretty easy to follow for the most part. I'm just trying to do my own thing here uh, and hoping that it works. But if you get stuck somewhere and maybe my advice isn't 100% correct, go back, check out the fire sticks. There's one specifically just for Unity. That's what you need to read is the documentation just for Unity for Amazon Fire Stick. Um, the only thing that will really affect your app as far as development goes is you got to keep in mind that you're very limited on what you can and can't do you know with the joystick i mean it's a very simple joystick unless you do the gamepad which they do have their own bluetooth gamepad that's like an xbox controller um so for me i'm used to building for i'm used to building like pc games so PC and I'm treating the Fire Stick as like a console. It's completely different design um, in a lot of ways. So just keep that in mind. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.